hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel camzine in this video we are going to talk about the michael reaction so the first thing we need is a michael donor which is typically a stabilized enolate and we use a base to extract the alpha hydrogen from this michael donor and so we get an enolate ion this enolate is stabilized by two carbonyl groups and this is going to react with an alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde here is the alpha carbon and here is the beta carbon now you need to know that beta carbon and the carbonyl carbon are both are electro electrophilic in nature so whenever you have a nucleophile a nucleophile can attack at beta carbon and the carbonyl carbon so weak acids tends to attack at the beta carbon while strong bases tends to attack at the carbonyl carbon giving you a direct addition whereas weak bases will give you a conjugate addition in order to get the michael addition reaction we want to stabilize enolate or weak bases to attack at the beta carbon and so that's why it's good that the enolate is between two carbonyl groups because weak bases prefer to attack beta carbon and now if you want to see why these two carbon atoms are electrophilic here how you can show it so we know that carbonyl carbon is electrophilic because if you draw this resonance structure we can put a positive charge on the carbonyl carbon hence proving it electrophilic in nature and now to show that the beta carbon is electrophilic as well here what we can do if we draw the resonance structure for that molecule based on these arrows we could put a positive charge on a beta carbon showing that it's electrophilic in nature now let's get back to the reaction here we have a michael donor this michael donor is stabilized enolate ion and michael donor is basically a nucleophile and is going to react with michael receptor which is alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde michael receptor serves as a electrophile so the carbon atom with a negative charge present on it attacks the beta carbon of michael receptor causing these pi electron to move to the adjacent bond break in that pi bond and now so let's count the longest chain which is 1 2 and 3 carbon 3 attacks the beta carbon of michael receptor which we will call carbon 4 5 and 6 so due to this six carbon chain is produced which look like this on carbon 5 and 6 between carbon 5 and 6 there is a double bond and now on carbon 3 we have two carbons so let put these carbon here so this is what we now have now in the next step we need to react with weak acid so i am going to use water as an example depending on your solvent it could differ so just keep that in mind as the oxygen bears back down on the double bond it causes the double bond to be nucleophilic except in actually not nucleophile but more basic rather because it accepts the hydrogen atoms so we are going to get this product so this is 15 dicarbonyl compound which is formed 